How's it going guys? Welcome back to Footballer XP. In today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys a few top tips that can help you improve your dribbling skills. But before we get into that, make sure you already subscribe to this channel because if you subscribe to Footballer XP, all of your wildest dreams will come true tomorrow. Now I'm going to give you guys four tips in this video, just four tips, that's it, very basic. You have to actually watch the entire video because all these tips that I'm going to give you are linked to each other. So if you can understand these four tips, then you can actually really transform your dribbling in no time. And, and guys, I know it sounds a bit unreal, a lot of people think dribbling is very difficult, it's not. And every great player that you know, every player that you look up to, there was once a time when they couldn't dribble either, right? But you just have to understand these four tips. So the first tip is your center of gravity. If you don't know what that is, I'm going to tell you right now. You want to try and bring your body slightly lower. So you want to squat a bit, right? So that you're closer to the ground. Because the closer you are to the ground, the easier it is for you to change direction and to maneuver with the ball. It's easier to make sharp turns to your right and to your left. And that's what you want to do when you're dribbling. You can't dribble in a straight line. Like it's very easy to predict what you're going to do. It's very easy for the defender to know what's going to come next. So you want to be able to change direction when you're dribbling. And it's easier to do that when your body is slightly lower. Look at all the best dribblers you know. Lionel Messi, Riyad Mahrez, Eden Hazard. These are all shorter players. They have an advantage when they're dribbling because they're shorter and closer to the ground. So center of gravity, that's the first thing. Very important. Don't go too low as well. Like don't be too upright, but don't be too low either. Because if you go too low, you won't be able to run as quickly and you look like a constipated chicken, not a football player. Okay. The next thing you want to make sure is that you dribble with the outside of your foot. It's always better to use the outside of your foot because it's more direct. So you can have your foot facing forward, right? And you're just tapping, just tapping the ball with the side as you move forward, like this. If you look at all the greatest dribblers, in football, they all do the same thing. They use the outside of the foot most of the time. Use your entire body to shift the ball. When dribbling, you want to make sure that your body and the ball move as one. When you change direction, your entire body should shift together with the ball. Don't make the mistake of kicking the ball in a different direction and only moving your body once the ball has already left your possession. That is very counterproductive because it makes it easier for the opponents to read your move and change of direction. So when changing direction, your body must move with the ball, not after the ball has already moved. I thought that was obvious, but... But maybe, maybe not. Take small touches and steps. This tip is sort of like the previous tip, but this one applies more to when you're dribbling in tight spaces, meaning you're completely surrounded by multiple opponents, making it harder for you to keep the ball. Why do you think it would be important to take smaller touches? Well, because the last thing you want to do in a situation like this is to kick the ball too far away from you because it will get snatched up by the vultures. And the vultures being the opponents, not actual vultures. Because, you know, that would be pretty weird. So make sure your touches and steps are small enough for you to maintain full control of the ball and your direction. That wraps up today's video, guys. Don't forget to give this video a like if you enjoyed it and found it helpful. And hit that subscribe button because if you don't already know, if you subscribe to Footballer XP, all of your wildest dreams will come true tomorrow. Bye.